Welcome, good evening. We're happy that you're here. Welcome to Awakening House of Prayer. We're glad that you're here to celebrate the Lord, to celebrate what He does in each one of our lives. And we welcome you to start in prayer with us as we receive the Lord in this service. So, Father, we give you thanks, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord, Father. We praise you this evening, Father. We praise you with our heart, Lord. We give you thanks for your goodness and your mercies, Lord. We give you thanks, Father, that you can call us your children, Father. That you are calling us, Father, to be with you, Father, to do your work, Father. That you count us worthy, Lord. Worthy, Father. Worthy to be called your sons and daughters, Father. And we praise you, Lord. We praise you for your love, Father. And we know, Lord, that no matter, no matter what's going around us, Father, no matter what's going around the world, Lord, you are merciful, Lord. You are merciful, Lord. And you take care of your children, Lord. You take care of all of us, Father. Father, and you said in your word, Father, that the vengeance belongs to you, Father. So we give it all to you, Father. Father, we are here, Father, as examples of your love, Father. We are here, Father, as your children, Father, that needs to spread your love, Father, that needs to spread your life, Father, and needs to show the face of Jesus Christ, Father, unto others, Father. Father, we ask in Jesus' name that you mold us, Father, that you change us, Father, that you make us different, Father, that you bring in us, Father, what you want us to be, Father, what we ought to be for you, Father, good representatives of you, Father, in this kingdom, Father. We are not citizens of this world, Lord. We are citizens of heaven, Lord. And as citizens of heaven, Lord, we want to bring your love and mercy upon this world, Father. Father, give us boldness, Father. Bone is strengthen us, Father, to do, Father, what is right in your sight, Father. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks, Father. It matters what you think, Lord, what you think, Lord, what you want, Lord, Father. Father, so we abandon, Father, what we want right here on the cross, right, Father, right here on the altar, Father. We abandon what we want to do, Father. We abandon what we want to say, Father. But we just hold on to you, Lord. We hold on, Father, to your love, Father. We hold on, Father, to your teachings, Father. Father, help us, Father, to be that bold, Father. To be that radical, Father, that has radical love, Father. Radical love for your children, Father. Radical love for your people, Lord. Radical love and obedience, Father. Radical obedience to do your work, Father. Father, we give your, we give it all to you, Lord. We give it all to you, Lord, Father. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise you tonight, Father. We praise you tonight, Father. We praise you tonight, Father. Father, and we know that as we unite in prayer, Lord, as we unite in prayer, Father, you will make everything change, Father, through your will, Lord. Father, we know, Father, that one can put the thousands to flight, but two can put ten thousands to flight, Father. And united here, Father, we can change this world, Father. We can change this nation, Father. We can change what's going on, Father. We can change our own circumstances, Father, because it's not us, Father, but it's you, Father. It's you, Father. Father, so we come to you tonight, Father. We pray to you tonight, Father. We honor you tonight, Father. We give you thanks tonight, Father, in advance, Father, for the changes that you will bring, Lord, for the changes that you will bring in this world, Father. We decree and declare, Father, that the change is coming for your good, Father. The change is coming, Father, for your work, Father. The change is coming, Father. Father, and we call on heaven, Father, and we say revival, Lord. We speak revival over this land, Father. We speak revival over this region, Father. We speak revival over this nation, Father. We speak revival on every heart, Father. And we give you all the honor, Lord. We give you all the honor, Lord. And all the praise, Lord, because it's yours, Lord. It's yours, Father. It's yours, Father. The honor is yours, Lord. And we bless you tonight.
tonight, Father. We bless you tonight, Father. We honor you and we praise you, Father. And we give you all the praise. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Father. We praise you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We glorify you, Father. We magnify you, Father. You're the author and the finisher of our faith, Father God. We plead the blood of Jesus upon your home, Father God. Because there's nothing but the blood, Father. Nothing but the blood, Father. It breaks every chain, Father. It breaks every yoke, Father. It breaks every incantation and witchcraft prayer, Father God. And we thank you, Father, that you abide in this land. Glenn. 
Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. We say, have your way, Lord. Have your way, the Awakening House of Prayer. Have your way in our lives, Lord. Father God, I thank you for each and every person here, each and every one watching online, and each and every one that's on their way, Lord. Bless them. Keep them. Holy Spirit, we ask that you just work in and through us. Holy Spirit, we thank you that you dwell here. And we say, have your way in our lives. Father God, whatever is in us that's not of you, we ask that you shine your light on it, that you expose it so that we can root it out in the name of Jesus and fill it with your peace, with your love, with your joy, with the fruit of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Christ over this building. We plead the blood of Christ over each and every one here, over Apostle Jennifer as she comes forth with the word. Father, we thank you that no weapon forged against us shall prosper in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that every spirit must bow to the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Lord, that no witchcraft can go on here in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft, you are broken in Jesus' name. Father God, we thank you that you will unmask and reveal, reveal truth in the name of Jesus. We come against any demonic distractions in Jesus' name. We come against any demonic distractions that will try to interfere with what's going on here tonight. Lord, we thank you that our prayers are powerful, that our unified prayers are powerful. We thank you that we can come into agreement, Father God, and your will, your will, your will will be done in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, help us to be so sensitive to your Holy Spirit. Help us to pray what's on your heart, Father God. Your heart, Father God. We decree and declare peace in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that we will walk in love in the name of Jesus. Father God, we ask that you just use us, Lord. That you speak through us, Father God. We submit ourselves to you. We submit our mouths to you. We submit our tongues to you. We submit our lives to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us to remember that we are fighting against principalities, against the spirit of darkness and the rulers of this world, Father God, that we are not fighting against flesh and blood, Father. Help us to keep that in mind, Lord. Help us to keep that in mind, Father God. Jesus, we love you. We glorify you. We honor you, Lord. And we say, have your way tonight. We thank you in advance, Father God, for what you are doing tonight, for what you will do, Lord. We thank you for the shift in the spirit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we will leave here and we will continue to pray. We will continue to put our hands to the plow and we will continue to intercede, Father, for what's on your heart, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, let's clap our hands all over this room. Come on, let's give God praise. He's a mighty God. Yes, see, you are my strength. Hallelujah. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. can lift it up. Come on, you are my strength. You are my strength. Yeah, yeah. Strength like no other. Strength like, strength like no other. And it reaches tonight. Reaches to me. Won't you lift your hands and sing it this time? Come on, you are my strength. You are my strength. Yeah. 
sing it together. You are, you are, you are my strength. Yes, Lord, strength like no other. Oh, that's it, that's it. And it reaches. Here's the next part, hallelujah. In the fullness of, in the of your grace in the power of your name you lift me up we'll be lifted tonight come on in his presence yes you lift me up in the fullness of come on in the fullness of your One more time. Come on, you are my strength. You are my strength. Yes, you are, Lord. Strength like no other tonight. We draw from nowhere else but you. Strength like no other. And it reaches, reaches to me. Come on. In the fullness of your grace, say
sing this. You are my hope. You are my hope. Hallelujah. Hope like no other. Hope like no other. Hope like no other. Hope like no other. And tonight it reaches to me. Reaches to me. We lean on you tonight, God. You are, you are Won't you lift that? Come on, reach us to me. Reach us to me. No matter how low we may sing tonight, God, you reach. Reach us to me. Yeah, reach us to me. Reach us to me. Reach us to me. Reach us to me. Come on, lift your hands right there where you are. We bring worship in the house. It belongs to the Father. Come on, say it belongs to the Father. No matter where we may find ourselves now, come on, we find ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah, worship belongs to you, yeah. Hey, Lord, worship belongs to you, yeah. And we let it flow tonight like rivers of water. We let it flow, come on. to worship unto the Lord. He's mighty and he's awesome. Yeah. He deserves it right now. Yeah. He deserves it right now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reach yes to me. Hallelujah. Well, you may be weak tonight. It reaches to you. Come on, make it personal. Come on, as we stand and worship, it can reach yes to me. Oh, reach yes to me. Oh, yes, it can. Oh, reach yes to me. Yeah. One more time, reach yes, reach yes to me. Glory, hallelujah. It reaches. Thank you, Lord. Come on, lift it up. Reach yes to me. You are my strength. Hallelujah. Strength like no other. Yes, he is. Strength like no other. Yes, it can reach. Reach yes to me. Yes, I mean, breathe in. 
start singing some more in my life. Be glorified. Be glorified. Yes, Lord, please. Be glorified in my Sing in my life. Be glorified, be glorified, be glorified. We lift our hands and say, In my life, be glorified in all I say and do. Come to say thank you, get the glory, Lord. You get the praise, Lord. Take the honor. We just come to say thank you, get the glory, hallelujah. You get the praise, Lord. Take the honor. We just want to say. on their heart tonight. Come on, lift it up and say thank you. Thank you. Right here. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, lift your hands all over this room. You get the glory. You get the praise. Oh, Lord, take the honor. I just come to say thank you. You get the glory, you get the praise, Lord, take the honor, we just come to say, thank you, get the glory, hallelujah, you get the praise, Lord, take the honor, we just want to say, from being good to us, God, we say thank Hallelujah. We say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For being a way maker, Lord. We say thank you. Thank you. Come on, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Come on, lift up your worship right there. Oh.
lift your hands and bless him for being a way maker in this room. Come on, he deserves your worship. He deserves your praise. Come on, let's honor him with our worship. Yes, Lord, we love you in this place. Hallelujah. We bless your name. We bless your name, oh God. Come on, let your worship be louder than the music. Come on. Hallelujah. We lift you up, God. Oh, yes. There's nobody greater than you. You never stop blessing us, God. You never stop pouring your love out on us. You never stop turning it around. You never stop making ways out of no way. Hallelujah. Waymaker, you are a miracle worker. Lift it up, way maker, girls, way maker, miracle work. Hallelujah. Whoa, come on, sing is a way maker. Yeah, yeah. Oh, promise keep light in the dark. you gone oh that is who you are hallelujah that's who you are oh that is who you are that's who you are bless him come on that is who you are that's why we love you this way oh that's who you are Somebody honor the Lord with your hands. Come on. Come on, we honor the Lord. Come on, hallelujah. Anybody grateful for the blood? Hallelujah. It reaches to the highest mountain, yeah. And it flows to the lowest valley, yeah. Fill us up tonight. We want to be filled tonight, oh God. Come on, if you really long for it tonight, open your mouth and tell him, God, fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Here I am at your vessel, God. Fill me up. Overflow me, Jesus. Overflow us, Jesus. Oh, oh, the 
blood that gives me strength from day you find yourself tonight come on oh the blood that gives us strength from day to day we feel you tonight master come on it will never lose sing it again come on it will never For the blood, hallelujah. Come on, you ought to thank him for the blood. Watching it all the way. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, let the devil hear your praise tonight. I'm back. the devil amen but how many of you love the lord amen god is so good anybody come from outside of florida where'd you come from south texas praise god that's a long way to come for a prayer meeting anybody else where'd you come from where'd you come from sir detroit oh my amen where'd you come from back there sir New York, wow. come on. Anybody else? Right there? Detroit. Well, y'all should be friends. You could go rent together. Where, somebody else? Where, where you come from? Savannah, come Georgia. Oh, come on now. Praise God. We just started a prayer hub in Savannah, Georgia this past week. Praise God. Anybody else? Yeah, How many of you don't live in Fort Lauderdale area, South Florida? Where you, you came from, uh, that's right, central, central part of the state, right? Where'd you come from, ma'am? Lakeland, amen. Well, thank you for anybody else, amen. Give them a good God bless you. God is good. Hallelujah. How many of you came to pray tonight? Amen. I'm going to share for just about 10 minutes because I know I'm preaching to the choir, but there's a whole world out there that's watching. And I'm hoping that some of this accidentally falls up on their ears. Amen. And they might catch a hint tonight. Praise God. Amen. So you can sit down if you'd like to. God is good. Some of you look so happy tonight. I'm so glad. The devil can't take our joy. It's been a... It's been a rough couple of weeks. Rough few months, actually, hasn't it? Amen. One thing after another. Father, we thank you tonight for the anointing. Anoint us to pray. Lord, give us your words. Put them in our mouth. Lead us and guide us. Anoint our tongues. Let our words, the words of our heart and the meditations of our heart, be pleasing to you tonight, God. And help us, Lord, to kick the devil in the teeth a few times while we're at it. Hey, come on, amen. Well, how many of 
you, anybody that was here on New Year's Eve, anybody that was here for my New Year's Eve service, quite a few of you. On New Year's Eve, I prophesied that in 2020 and beyond, but particularly in 2020, that we were going to see the rise of social justice prophets and intercessors because we were going to need them. And we've always needed them. You know, every prophet in the Bible was a social justice prophet. Every one of them. They all took up a cause. We can't all take up every cause. We must be led by the Spirit of the Lord because we would wear ourselves out. There would not be grace for it. But we must begin to understand that in this hour, the enemy is raging in the nations. And to be silent is to agree with his work. Amen. Oh, y'all going to help me tonight. I won't be before you long. Praise God. I call them Amos prophets. They're social justice prophets. And some people don't know. Some snarky, rude woman messaged me today. And she goes, what is it, social justice prophets? I don't know. <laughs> she had a major religious spirit. It was the size of Texas. Where's Texas? It was the size of... Everything's bigger in Texas, they say. <laughs> uh, you know, well, can't they just be God's prophets? No. Every prophet is a social justice prophet. Every prophet in the Bible spoke out against the ills that were in the society of their time. Some of you might ask, what's a social justice prophet? The best example in the 20th century. Somebody say the 20th century. The best example in the 20th century was probably Martin Luther King. Had to be. Had to be. Malcolm X was another. Amen. Different approaches, but they were passionate about their cause. These were social justice prophets. But the Lord began to show me earlier today as I was just going over these notes that the 21st century social justice prophet is going to look a little different. Why? Because we have to. The social justice intercessors of the 21st century are going to look a little different. They've got to be even bolder. Why? Because the enemy has gotten even bolder. You fight fire with fire. The issue is we've got the fire of God. Amen. Our God is an all-consuming fire and he will burn up everything that doesn't look like love. It's just a matter of time. In the meantime, we've got to keep speaking out and we must keep praying. Somebody say amen. amen. Social justice is the view that everyone deserves a fair shake. You know, we are in America. Praise God. America is flawed, but I'd still rather be here than many of the nations, quite frankly. Amen. I've been around the world. This is still a great nation, comparatively speaking. We've got problems. We've got problems. But, you know, the Bible, or not the Bible, but there, our Pledge of Allegiance says, you know, for, with liberty and justice for all. But yet we've never really seen that, have we? And it's, 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 it's largely a race issue. It's also a socioeconomic issue. Amen. It's many different issues, but we've got to begin to take a stand. And now is the time as I prophesied social justice prophets will gain momentum as they lift their voices louder than ever before. We've got to be like that woman in Luke 18. Do you remember her? She came to the king. She said, give me what belongs. Avenge me of my enemies. Avenge me of my enemies. She didn't try to avenge herself, mind you. She didn't take matters into her own hands. She went to the one who had the ultimate authority to do something about it. Amen. She said, avenge me of my enemies. And she kept going back and she kept going back and she kept going back and she kept going back. And finally, the wicked king, you know the story, says she's wearing me out. Just give her what she wants. Well, tonight... God can't be worn out, but we're going to wear God out. Amen. We're going to keep petitioning and we're going to keep petitioning. Sometimes spiritual warfare is just outlasting the devil. But what tends to happen is we have these flashpoints, right? And everybody gets all, you know, yeah, we're going to break this. We're going to change it. We're going to do something. And then it all fizzles out. And so the cycle continues and the devil called racism. Matter of fact, it's a behemoth. Do you, anybody ever heard in spiritual warfare terms what a behemoth is? Yeah, it's an ideology like communism. And all the isms are ideologies. They're called behemoths. It's actually in the Bible. And it conditions people to think a certain way that is anti-Christ. I'm going to say something and I'm probably going to make a lot of people mad. None, none of you here, of course, but... All those religious people out on the internet. 
I just don't think, and I probably not say it, Jesus help me, Jesus help me, Jesus. I just don't think that you can be a Christian and a racist. John, the beloved, said, how can you love your God who you can't see when you cannot love your brother who you can see? So I don't want to hear it anymore. The white folks are mad at me. (laughs) They're mad at me. I mean, by the thousands and thousands, and I don't really care. They unsubscribed. They blocked me. They cursed me. I, I, I was shocked. I said good riddance I don't want to be friends with racists why because they're working for the devil they're working for the dark side it doesn't work that way and it's taught and so we have a lot of different things that we need to do we need to pray we also need to re-educate amen and the media doesn't help I worked in the media for almost 30 years and the media is not on our side because it's good headlines Jesus, I better stop. I'm going to tell you one or two more things. I want to just show you something in the Bible. See, Amos prophets prophesied things like this. For three transgressions of Israel and for four, I will not turn away its punishment because they sell the righteous for silver and the poor for a pair of sandals. They pant after the dust of the earth, which is on the head of the poor, and pervert the way of the humble. A man and his father go unto the same girl to defile my holy name, O Jesus. That's sex trafficking there. Amos 5.24 says, let justice roll down like the waters, and righteousness like a mighty stream. Come on, woman of God. Listen to this, Micah prophesied. See, every social just, every prophet in the Bible is a social justice prophet. And every prophet in a every prophet in America right now needs to open their little mouth and speak out very loudly. I'm serious. Well, seriously. Every prophet is called to speak against injustice. This is one of the biggest injustices the world has ever seen that we're the that we're combating tonight. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. But here's where. Here's why. I'm going to tell you this, Micah. Listen. Now hear this. You heads of the house of Jacob and rulers of the house of Israel who abhor justice and pervert all equality, equity, who build up Zion with bloodshed and Jerusalem with iniquity. Her heads judge for a bribe. Her priests teach for pay. Listen, her prophets divine for money. Watch out, please. If you're following your favorite prophets. You show it in their ministries and they still at a time like this won't speak out. (laughs) You've been sowing into their ministries. You've been buying their books and they're still trying to prophesy. What is this ear tickling? Hey, prophet lying. Hey. They still prophesying. Shabbat <laughs> shalom. Stop following these jokers, amen. Because a true prophet, a true prophet. Somebody say a true prophet. A true prophet is mad as hell at a time like this, amen. I might not be the most eloquent, praise God. But neither was Apostle Paul, amen. I guarantee you, I showed it on my shebe she. Yeah, Hallelujah. I gotta watch it. Sometimes. I can't remember what I was gonna say. God wiped it from my eyes. God's a God of justice. Proverbs 21, 15, when justice is done, it is a joy to the righteous, but terror to evildoers. Tonight, we're going to terrorize the enemy's camp. Amen. <laughs> Isaiah 1, 17, learn to do good, seek justice, correct oppression, bring justice to the followers, please the widow's cause. 
Isaiah 30, 18, for the Lord is a God of justice and blessed are those who wait on him. Micah 6, 8, he has told you, O man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly before your Lord. Psalm 106, 3, blessed are those who observe justice who do righteousness at all times. Proverbs 28, 5, evil men do not understand justice. But those who seek the Lord understand it completely. Now we do have to understand, as much as I wanted to reach out through that computer screen and just like do something, to slap somebody, we really are wrestling at the core against flesh and blood. I, I mean, against princi principalities and powers. Or maybe we're wrestling against some flesh and blood too. <laughs> it might be possible. Well, actually, one of the one of the, <laughs> one of the translations of Ephesians six does say we are not wrestling only against flesh and blood, because the devil is using these people and they are letting themselves be used. But the only right response, according to the Bible, is to love them. That's the only right response. We can't act like the devil and have any authority over the devil. So we're going to bless and curse not. They make me mad. These prophets, willy-nilly prophets on certain magazines, and they're just still prophesying gumballs and, you know, unicorns. I'm like, seriously? No one has anything to say about this right now? Anyway, forgive me. It's been a, it's been a hard week. More for probably many of you who have been dealing with this for decades your whole life. Yeah, it is an eye opener, isn't it? It's an eye opener. So what I want to do is I want to, because I said I would lay hands on those who wanted an impartation of that social justice anointing. In other words, an empowerment to keep fighting the good fight of faith. I want to quickly lay hands and pray for you and then we're going to pray. And after I, and if you don't want to be prayed for, you don't have to be prayed for. But if you want prayer, then I want you to come up now. And I'm not going to sit here and prophesy. We did all that last week. I'm going to go pop, 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 pop. And you're going to receive by faith. And then we're going to get down to business and pray. Can I get some catchers up here, please? Some strong guys.
Lord, we lift up your name tonight because you are great and you are greatly to be praised. And I ask you, God, to begin to heal our hearts tonight in Jesus' name. Father, we just lift up this issue, not just George Floyd, not even as far back as Trayvon Martin, but God, for decades and decades and decades and decades and decades, God, we ask you to break in with light. We're asking you, God, to intervene. We're crying out, God, for mercy. We just lift them up to you and we say, Lord, encounter them with your love because that is the only answer at the end of the day. You love everybody. Help us, Lord, to open our hearts of compassion as we cry aloud tonight, not letting the enemy escape, not even letting one get away, but remembering that mercy triumphs over judgment. Help us to keep our hearts right so that we can maintain the authority over the wicked one that we need to maintain in order to eradicate this disease called racism from our shores. I need some people to come help me pray. If you want to pray, just begin to line up. Just begin to line up on the sides here. And when one grabs it, when one is done, the others can pray. Somebody come help me pray. I can pray all night. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory be to God. For he is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The beautiful Rose of Sharon. The Prince of Peace. The Everlasting Father. He is the Lord God Almighty. The Lord Mighty in Battle. 
that has been taught to 
implore you to move on our behalf, Lord. We all need you, Father God. We all need your presence in our lives. Oh God, we are one people before you, Father. We love you and we bless you tonight. And we thank you, God, for hearing our cry out for help in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we're asking that your grace will ascend down, not just in America, but across the nations, God. For your word says that your grace is sufficient. Your strength is made perfect in our weakness, God. And during our weakness, God, we will boast that we are not strong enough to fight this thing in our own ability, God. For there is no good thing that dwells within this flesh, oh Father. So we humble ourselves, God. We humble ourselves, God. And we call on you, God, to strengthen us, God. To strengthen us father with your holy spirit that will enable us to do greater works oh father father god i stand in the gap for frontline workers god i bind up every demonic uh, stronghold of fear father for you have not given us the spirit of fear but of love power and a sound mind god i speak a sound mind god over every police officer god in the name of jesus god i speak that you will give them the grace god to love even in the midst of chaos to love even in the midst of chaos God we ask that you would turn that you would tear down God the strongholds of the enemy oh father that will try to come against this nation God but let this be a nation stand under you God trusting in you God oh father we ask God that you will even touch our leaders father you said for us to pray for our leaders that we will live in peace oh father and we're standing in the for our leaders, God, that they will not be tempted of Satan, oh Father, but Father God, that by your grace, God, they will make decisions, God, by your grace, God, that you will give them the grace to love, oh Father, even in this time of chaos, God, that you will give them a peace, God, for your peace surpasses all understanding, God, and it will guard their hearts and minds, God. We speak that over our leaders, God. We speak that over the White House, God. In the name of Jesus, God, that they will have sound minds, God. That fear will not rule, God, because the saints are lifting them up, God. You said one a thousand and two ten thousand, God, and we're standing here as the remnant, Father, asking that you will cast down every demonic stronghold, God. In the name of Jesus, God, let it start from the head, God, because it'll trickle down to the start, God, in the name of Jesus, God, every police officer, God, that's it, standing in fear, God, we cast it down in the name of Jesus, God, that you will start with them, Father, that you will cause them, God, to show love, God, Father God, we ask that you will grow to the grounds of the protest, God, that you will touch those, God, that are up front, Father, that they will not use their platforms to perpetuate hate, God. But Father God, give them wisdom, God. But you said that this is a season, God, where you are raining down your wisdom, God. So we ask that you will give them wisdom, God. In the name of Jesus, Father. Father God, give us the grace to endure until the end, Father. Let us not be deceived by the smoke screen of coronavirus, God, of racism, God, for there is a change coming, oh, Father. But give us the grace to hold on, God. Give us the grace, God, to not operate in our flesh, oh, Father. Give us the grace, God, to see things with your eyes, oh, God, that we are not wrestling against flesh and blood, oh, Father. Oh, Father, that our, our warfare is not carnal, God. That our weapons are not carnal, but mighty through you, oh God. To the pulling down of the stronghold, God. For you told us, God, that we have power to tread over scorpions, God. And over all power of the enemy. Not some of the power, God. But we walk in all the authority, God. We will not be defeated, God. Because we will operate in your spirit, God. Oh, Father God, touch your brother being shaken up. You said you would come for your house first, God. It's for us first, God. Shake us up, God. Bring us to our knees, God. Everything that's not like you, God, shake us up, oh, Father. Shake us up, God. Give us a repentant heart, God. Father God, you said a broken spirit 
and a broken and a contrite heart you will not deny. Give us that anointing in this time, God, to do what you say do, God, not to operate according to what's happening, God, but to operate according to your spirit. I speak that your bride, God, will stand up and we will be the salt and light that you have called us to be, oh God. We will stand up, God, and we will be the salt and light of the earth, God. We will stand up, God, and we will bring light to the darkness, oh Father. We bind up every ancient spirit of racism, God. Cause us to repent, God, for cultural pride, God. For you said that if we come to you, that we are new creatures, God. Oh, Father God, let us walk in our Christ-given authority, Father, that was paid for by the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. We bind up every cultural uh, stronghold of racism, God, in the name of Jesus generational oppression oh God but Father God let the conviction start in your house oh Father and we will give you the glory God it is time for your bride to rise up God let us rise up God let us rise up oh God let us rise up oh God in the power of your spirit oh God to do greater works oh God in the name of Jesus we give you glory for the victory is already done, God. We don't fight for the victory, God. We fight from it, God. For it was already won when Jesus Christ rose from the grave, God. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, I thank you, Lord. I thank you that this is the hour, God where we are joining, God. We are joining our legal system with the legal system of heaven, God. Lord, we thank you, God, that you reign on the just and the unjust, God. That you sit high and you look low, God. For heaven, God, is your throne and earth is nothing but a footstool to you, God. So, Lord, God, I thank you, Lord. I thank you that you are releasing governmental mantles in the earth, God, even as I speak, God. I thank you for raising up the Davids in the earth, God. I thank you for raising up the Debras in the earth, God.
And we thank you, God. We love you, we honor, and we glorify you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord, we are, we are praying today, hallelujah, for churches, Lord, in this state, in the United States, Lord, for leadership and for, for all believers, Lord, let the spirit of races go out in Jesus' name, from church, from mentality, in Jesus' name, Lord, let the revelation that in Christ Jesus, no Gentiles, no Jews, no Gentiles, not male, not female. In Christ Jesus, in Christ Jesus, we are one. In Jesus' name, Lord. Go prosete de bosso toro mahataya. Rebrende zege de brosso toro prosete. Oh, sheha. Kibranda haya. Lord, we are praying. Lord, Lord, let's all pray. Go out, Lord. Let's all proud spirit go out in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, let your humiliation come, Lord. Oh, in Jesus' name, Lord. Ah, oh, Lord, I pray let's repentance come in church, Lord. In, in this church where is where this uh, proudness, when this uh, racism attitude, Lord, let's repent. Repentance come, let's broken spirit come, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray for your church, we pray for us, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord. Oh, let your light come in hearts, let your light come in hearts, let your light, let your love come in hearts, Lord. Let's we see each other like one, Lord, in Christ Jesus, Lord, in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, I just call. Lord, I pray right now for those who are like Saul, who are fighting your people, God. I don't care what color, I don't care who they are, what nation they're from, whatever, they are your children. Father God, I pray that you would intercede, you would visit each and every one of them and do as you did to Saul, Father God, and you will cause that blindness that he has to seek out the Lord God Almighty and get transformed and do great and mighty things, Father God, I thank you. You are not turning a blind eye to what is going on. You are not Father, we are seeing an outward manifestation of an inward problem of not knowing who we are in you. Father God, I keep coming back to forgive us. Forgive us for not knowing who you are within us. Your Holy Spirit within us. Forgive us, Father. Embolden us, Father God, to rise, to rise up, knowing you are in us. We have all authority, we have all power, because of your Holy Spirit within us. Oh, Father God, Father God, forgive us. And I thank you, Father, that we can stand here today knowing as we say, forgive me, Father, for not doing what you've asked me to do, for not standing up for the brother standing next to me or the sister standing next to me or for this person or that person. Forgive me, Father, that we know you have washed us clean and today is a new day. Today is a new day where we can walk out what your desire is, not our self-desire, not our history, not what we've been taught, not maybe experiences we had, but Father, it can be washed in the blood and we can walk out of here new, transformed, and treating each and every one of your children as you want them treated. Father God, 
I thank you for your forgiveness. I thank you for your blood that renews and strengthens us. Let your blood not be looked at as like, oh yeah, he did that all that time ago. No, Father God. Your blood is fresh. Jesus, your blood is fresh. Every day, every day, every day. And Father God, I also speak to these people, Lord, just as Apostle said, that these social justice um, prophets, Father God. And I sit and I watch these, these young people standing up with elegance, with, with strength to say what they are seeing, what is going on. Father God, reach down and grab their hearts. These are the prophets. They just, maybe they don't know you yet. Maybe they don't know the calling on their life. But Father God, you have a way, just as you did with Saul, to intercept them and, and, and change where they're going in this life. So Father God, I just thank you. I thank you for each and every one of those people out there, Father God, who feel, they feel it. They know something's up. They know that there's something there. Let them, let us, let your body be the ones to go and bring the truth, the word, and say, wow, that is God's anointing on you. Father God, I just thank you. I praise you. I thank you that you are in control, Father, but help us to boldly stand knowing who resides within us. Nothing, nothing can come against us because you live within us and all power, that's all power. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Praise God. Amen. Church, uh, quick testimony. I'm uh, from New York. I'm a retired law enforcement officer. And uh, what I see here is an army of God. And I'm going to pray in a minute, but I want to give you a little history of how I got here. It's an amazing story. Um, but this is a war room. In law enforcement, we press a button and everyone stops what they're doing and they respond to the need. And you're doing a tremendous job. I'm a visitor. I just found out about this place yesterday. My daughter's in New York protesting at the Barclays. She's 22 college student. She's not working for Louis Vuitton. And so she's, I'm not working at no work. And so I'm moved by what I saw. And I, I went to the protest and I said, you're on track to, to do something. You're going to a criminal justice college. Why would you do that? She said, my heart breaks. And I said, look, when I was your age, I was a young and radical myself. But here's what you have to do. And I began to research on the Internet because she has a prophetic gift. At five years old, she had a dream. It came true. But uh, I said, look, let me look at the Internet and send you some stuff. And I came across Candace uh, Smith. Smith. Smith, and, uh, and then I came across your name. And so you said you're from South Florida. And I said, baby, take a look at this. And she just wants five, six minutes clips. And uh, this is your gift. This is what you got to be focused on. We are in a World War Three spiritual battle. Let's not mistake that. The devil is very angry. A few years ago, God came and hammered a nail in his, uh, his tail when he was on track for world domination. He is pissed. And he's not done. He's opened the gates of hell. Let me tell you. And he's given out these torches to come across this country and take over. The battle is just beginning. It's going to get worse. Trust you, me. And so I said, baby, look, just, just watch these videos. And, and when I got to your name, I said, and I got busy because I'm a guest here. I've been here. I came in February to go back, and I'm not going back to New York. New York has got some serious demonic influences in government. We are praying. And by the way, this is my 50th day. I challenge you to take communion every day if you can do it. This is my 50th day of taking communion every day. We are sticking it to the devil. Trust you, me. Let me tell you something. So then I came across your name, and I said, uh, you you got to see this. And then you said, you're from South Florida. I said, well, you know, let me see where the address is. Boom, 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 boom. I said, wait a minute. I'm two miles away. 
I got to come here today. The steps to the righteous are ordered by God. I've been on the radio talking about the gifts of God. We are in a prophetic season right now, and God is releasing a lot of prophecies. Chuck Pierce gave me a prophecy in 2005. I was going to open my mouth, and the Holy Ghost was going to come out. Uh, months later, I ended up in a Spanish radio station in New York. Millions hear the program. I'm not trained for radio, but my father was a pastor, and he told me how to stick out of the devil, and I've been carrying on that legacy. But let me tell you something. We've got to pray and pray very seriously. we got to take it to another level. We are in the upper room. God says, you have no time for me? I'm locking the world down. I'm locking. I'm going to bankrupt every country. Now you've got time. Go to the upper room and don't come down. Look, Peter was in the upper room, and he had to be thinking, I failed God. Three years in the front row seats, him and Judas. And God says, and he had to be saying, oh, I failed God in the upper room. Acts 1 to 13, after Jesus ascended, and there he is, I failed God, I failed God. But they're saying, but Peter, you walked on water. Peter, you walked on water. You know something happened in those 10 days in the upper room. We are in the upper room. This is a time of separation, communication, sanctification, consecration, communication. And God says, I want to hear from you. I want you to write your Corona diaries. I want to see what you've done for me. You ought to be the high priest. He wanted the high priest as a nation. Everyone wants to be a high priest in the, in, in, in the nation. Have a relationship with God. Go higher. When Peter came down, he was on fire for God. It seemed like the Holy Ghost gave him a match. And Peter's now, you know, they made a mistake of asking him for money. They asked him for money and he says, what? You're asking me for money? Get up and walk in the name of Jesus. Listen, and so I was telling my daughter, you have the gift. See this and ask God to release the gifts that he started in your life. You, you know, at, at seven years old, you're 22. And this is the time we've been, I mean, how many days in the upper room? How many of you are fasting and praying? How many of you, I don't want to challenge you that way, but I mean, taking communion. He says, remember me. Listen, we are in a very bad way, in a very bad place. And the devil is not happy. He wants to sit in the high chair in the White House. Trust you me. There's 195 countries. He's in most of them. And all hell is going to break out in November. Let me just say this one more time something's going to, the devil's not finished and I'll reference this with this before I go um, now let's just think Peter and Judas have front row seats to Jesus for three years they failed Jesus you think about that what chance does this man have who is spiritually dead wearing a uniform it's easy to take this man who is spiritually dead, this cop and, and use him as a bowling ball knocking down innocent pens and the devil is looking around to see who is spiritually dead he's not done this guy and the entire country is in saints pinball machine and he's just having fun with them we need to come against that in jesus name let's pray hey can we say jesus the bible says when we grab the hammer of god amen they tremble at the name of jesus can we say jesus one time jesus. can we say it again jesus. can we say it again jesus. can we say it again Jesus, 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 Jesus. Let the flames of fire come out of your spirit. Father, we thank you, God, that this, this all, right here, this, this, this football team that's pushing back the devil, Father. We thank you, Father, that we are able to do that, Father. We come in your precious name. We know the devil is angry, Father, that he's got more plans. But you tell us in Jeremiah that the prophet has the power to pull, Father. We pull the rug off the enemy's plants. We pull the rug off the enemy's plants. We are to plant, Father. We're planting season of prophets. Father, we're going to build, build prophets. We're going to build your hope. Father, we pray for all those officers who are spiritually dead. We know they don't know you, but they need someone to pray for them. They need someone to say, listen, I know something about your battle. You need to know who Christ is. Let me pray for you, not instigate problems. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for this time once again. I thank you, prophet of God. And the... God bless you all. I can go on forever. Thank you. Let's raise it higher. Let's raise it higher. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. I come before you with a godly fire inside of me. Lord, if I'm grieving, I know I can only imagine how hard and how sad you grieve right now. 
only for the racism that is going on in the world right now, Heavenly Father, but for the wave of deception that's sweeping our nation. For the minds of everybody here on earth that's just literally going crazy out of fear, anxiety, that's taking hold of everybody, the cops just feeling like everybody's just dogs and animals, like treating us as if we're not people at the end of the day that have hearts. Hearts that yearn for love and life. Heavenly Father, what about our children? What about the children of those who are being slain right now in the name of racism? What about George Floyd's little daughter? The enemy is so slick in the things that he does, man. Kids being grown up without their fathers, and I can speak on that because I, I, I grew up without my biological father. Heavenly Father, you know this about me. The enemy came against my real father, took over his mind, slain in suicide, Heavenly Father. Help us regain our minds and keep it away from the enemy, Heavenly Father. This attack on our minds is serious, it's more serious than we know. How do you think the world is going through everything right now? It starts with a lie that's implanted into our minds. As soon as we believe the lie, it manifests throughout our body. Who knows how it could come out from that point, Heavenly Father. That's why we need you. We have to stand before you. You said if we seek you with our whole heart, we will find you, Heavenly Father. All of us right now in this place and other godly places, Heavenly Father, we are bowing, literally, we are bowing down to you. We need you, Heavenly Father, come down. Send your anointing in our world, Heavenly Father, we need you now more than ever. Oh my gosh. Lord, Heavenly Father, we grieve, we grieve, we grieve. Let's not take this matter as a grain of salt. It's more than we know it. It's more than the riots. It's more than all of that. It's a spiritual battle. It's a spiritual warfare that we see on TV. And if we are Christians, the people that actually believe in God, we can see past that. We can see what's really going on in this world. But what about the people that don't believe? When they see this stuff on TV, all they see is the world is going crazy. And oh, let me stay in my house and let me lock my door and stay away from people. But us as warriors of God, we stand up. We fight. We stand in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father. And we come before you and we say the devil is alive just as this song was saying earlier the Lord will never be defeated the devil is a liar let us realize that give us the confidence to stand before you even when we're uncomfortable let us speak your word let us pick up our cross and let's die to ourselves no matter what the sacrifice, as long as we please you, Heavenly Father, that's all that matters. Your opinion is the only one that matters, Heavenly Father. We love you and we thank you. We thank you for the anointing. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, I'm going to pray what the book says. I don't know how to pray but the book. Leviticus 2640 says, You confess your iniquities. Iniquity is your forefather. You do it with a humble heart. I'll keep the covenant. I confess tonight racism, bigotry, and slavery. I don't know what my family was involved in. But I confess and I renounce it now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now! Now! God showed me this past week. Zechariah 11.7 it says, Zechariah had two staffs. I brought him this week, but the Jezebel spirit run me off. I'm not going to let it happen again. He held up a spirit, a, 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 a staff for, it, it, well, the first one was uh, for grace and favor. The second was for natural unity. Baal, 
Canaanite god had two clubs of war. Chaser and, and, uh, and driver. And he's driving the people. This is a, this is a spirit in this country now that's operating as, a, as Baal operated. And we come against that spirit. Matthew 16, 19, Matthew 18, 18. God, give me the keys to the kingdom. What I bind on earth is bound in heaven. What I loose on earth is loose in heaven. I bind that spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by His precious blood, His holy word tonight. In Jesus' name. Woo! Shut up, my son. Woo! Justice rolls down like water. Wash righteous away. Justice rolls down like water. Wash racism away. Justice rolls down like water. Ushemedebekeshi. Flood racism away. Justice rolls down like water. Flood racism away. Oh God. Justice rolls down like water. Flood racism away. Let your righteous flow like a stream. Let social justice prevail. Let righteous flow like a stream everlasting. Let social justice prevail. Mm. Pastor Jennifer. Oh, shit, it be unsecure, I'm under a bush. We can't do it in our own stuff. But the word that you gave on last year, God saw this coming. It didn't take him by surprise. You're not mocking the other prophets. You're not mocking them in the sense of disrespect. The Lord told me on last year that I am raising up the prophets in this hour. He said, because I only speak to the nation by my own intelligency in the natural the White House has physical intelligence and they missed COVID-19 God said the church really missed COVID-19 because the prophets the majority of them was out of place and out of sync but he said I am raising up a prophet in this hour and I was sitting this week and watching the riots and I I told the Lord I said I feel bad because what is the church doing and I'm not talking about just being on live stream and everybody want to go back to church or whatever because God said church as usual is not going to be again because the proof is already in the pudding that you can't preach to people about coming to a four wall or a building because it's been proven that you don't have to come to a building so what are you going to do to get them back to the local body or the building because it's been proven that you can assemble outside of a four wall but God says that he is going to raise up and he's already doing it through you because I said God I got to go somewhere 
that are speaking to the now situation because even what we've been seeing on television it's been out of alignment because guess what protest is okay but in the sense some of the minds of the young people they're trying to take judgment but judgment belongs unto God so we're not in judgment because that don't belong to us but we are through God in justice we're not in vengeance because vengeance belongs to God but we are here to decree justice and it's not in a justice because you did me wrong and I'm going to do you wrong too and I'm going to praise against you that's not what we are about but we are about the fact that God is looking for I love this social justice prophets and I was sitting there and I saw her email come through and I said what so God you making me come straight from work and when she said please be on time I'm like oh Jesus now she's making me be obedient. So I had to run home, getting off at 5, got home about 5.30, had to run home and take Cassie out, and that's my dog. I said, Cassie, I can't play with you today. I got to get to church. But in this hour, we are serious to all the prophets and those that are, that's going to rise up and be the prophet in this day God is not playing and God spoke to me apostle that and I I had I was crying when COVID hit and I was repenting for the prophets and repenting for everybody I stood as Moses don't kill us don't kill us don't kill us and I said forgive me I missed it I missed it I said what I said but you got all these people out there that got a platform why didn't you tell them and God spoke to me and said, uh, if you go back, he said, you listen to some of them, they're going to tell you that I told them that a plague was going to come. And then he said, they started voicing that, but they didn't continue to listen. They already start glorifying that I was speaking to them and they began to take my glory. So I had to shut it down. And I said, God, I said, what? He said, because I'm sorry, I would not share my glory with no, no one. And he said, and plus I already saw them being lifted up. And so I didn't really want to destroy them. So I had to just shut it down. That's all they could have taken. And he said, just like I did to Joseph, he said, I gave Joseph the dream and told him about a famine coming. He said, but I didn't leave it there. I gave him a strategy to prepare he said but in this hour we as prophet got to understand that when God tell us something it's not about and said oh apostle apostle God gave me a dream and what's the conclusion of the matter some things it's just God is trying to test us to see what we going to do with it? Are we ready to take it to the next level that we be our, be his intelligent in the earth? That we can go to the government or we can go to the apostles and say, God gave us a strategy to sustain us during this time. But as already said, I heard a pray that we got to come against the pride that is in us. So God can trust us to give us the conclusion of the matter to sustain us in pandemic in riots because we are his intelligence in the earth we saw that the government didn't have the answer but guess what the prophets didn't either but in this next season watch us watch us Watch the real ones stand up. Watch the one that God would trust with the entirety of what would take place. But he will also give us the strategies. One last time. Let 
Y'all forgot the song that quit? Let Let justice Flow Let justice flow Like water And flood racism away Let righteous flow Like an everlasting stream And social justice prevail Hallelujah, Lord. Rebeko Shataraba Kirebe Shorobo Sataraba. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you in this moment. We thank you for this atmosphere, God. We thank you for the atmosphere in which you will download the strategy, Father God, to wage war against the enemy not man but the principalities the rulers the wicked powers God God we thank you Father God that you are a God who does nothing without first revealing it to his prophets so we say prophet arise intercessor arise watchmen arise for those who have left their, left their post God bring them back to their post God bring them back to their prayer assignments bring them back to the heart of you Father God so that there are no missing gaps as we are building this wall that there are no breaches in the wall Father God God convict our hearts Father God that if we are not saying what you told us because it's not popular God we ask for forgiveness and we ask that you give us a holy boldness and a holy spirit of courage and might Father God that we will be able to walk and speak into the earth and say the things that may persecute us but we know that there's glory and promotion and persecution and we will not fear men in their faces and we will do as you tell us to do we will say as you tell us to say Father God we will not shy away from your word we will not dilute your word we will not make your word uh, politically correct we will say it with no type of filter God we will do it in love but we will do it by the telling of your word God God we pray matter of fact we declare we declare that this is a year and a decade of vindication that this is a year and decade of vindication Father God but in that God we know it is not for us it is not our job Father God to seek vindication you said it's yours it belongs to you God show us where we're supposed to be show us in this season where we're supposed to be who we're supposed to be aligned with God for you said that our ways are not your ways and our thoughts are not your thoughts but God align us to your ways align us to your thoughts God so that when we speak we sound like you when we when we move we look like you God we want to be more like you God God we say fill us up with your presence fill us up with your love fill us up with your heart God circumcise anything that don't belong there God circumcise anything that doesn't belong there God circumcise anything that doesn't belong there God any pride any hate anything God that goes against you that goes against the intelligence of God that goes against your spirit Father God we ask God that we take inventory of ourselves God Father God, we pray for an equipping. It is not enough to just be empowered if we don't have the tools. God, we thank you for this woman of God, Apostle Jennifer LeClaire, who, are, who is not only encouraging your people and edifying the body, but equipping them to pick up their mantles, to pick up their cross, and fight the fight. We declare and wage war against the enemy. God, we pray.
pray that you rebrand our shield of faith. That no cracks will be in our shield. No fiery dart of retaliation will be able to seep through. That you fortify us, God. Teach us how to put on the full armor of God. So that we are protected. God, help us get to the secret place. So that Psalm 91 can manifest in our life. God, expose every seep hole, every loophole that we are walking in, God. That we are unaware of, God. God, we pray that we unveil every spirit of deception, even if we have fallen to it, God. That you make us aware of it, God, so that we will start to move correctly. Order our steps, God. We won't take another step without you telling us, God. We will not go before you or ahead of you. We are not in a hurry, God, but we are rushing to you. We are running to you. We are coming to your altar boldly, Father God. God, we thank you because you said you are closest to the brokenhearted. And there are a lot of hearts that are hurting in this hour, God. And there are a lot of people who have the, re the right to be angry. But we don't have the right to sin in our anger. God, help us come to the understanding that justice is yours that this fight is yours and I know it sounds cliche but God give us the endurance to believe in you Father God to believe your word to not just have faith that you can do it but trust that you are going to do it for us God for your people for your nation for this country for this world God we are trusting in you we are keeping our eyes on you from which our help comes from and we know that if you keep our if we keep our eyes on you God you will keep us in perfect peace God God you are the prince of peace you are the author and the finisher the beginner the beginning and the end God Alpha and Omega everything is in your control everything happens at, at your glance God Remind us, Father God, whenever we forget that. God, we pray that you will expose. Oh, glory, God. That you expose every tactic of the enemy. Every wolf in sheep clothing that is in the White House that are behind these organizations that make it seem like they're for the people but they have another agenda this isn't a democratic or republican war this isn't a black or white war but this is a war charged against the evil doers of the world the principalities that influence people that they yield themselves to God we pray for the leaders in whatever form churches social justice um, communities God their hearts remain pure Father God that they don't pick up their own self uh, desires or self ambitions. But especially the leaders in your house, Father God. That they will ear to the side of your wisdom. God, we pray for heavenly wisdom. That you impart in us heavenly wisdom. That we will seek your face, God. God, you've already given us the answers. You've already given us the blueprint. You said when we seek you first in your kingdom and your righteousness, all of these things are added to you. The promises that are yes and amen will be added unto us, God. Help us fix our posture, God. Help us fix our posture before you, Lord. We speak to your church and we say, arise. We speak to the ones that have been lullabied to sleep. We say, arise and awaken. Mm. 
we speak to the ones that have been ostracized and marginalized and casted out and made to feel like they were alone God send them to their home father God send the prodigals home father God send them to the house that will accept them equip them and send them out God we thank you for this apostolic grace that you are pouring on your people to not just pray within the four walls but to build systems to eradicate the systems of the world God we thank you for your glory that you see us fit to carry it God we thank you for your light God that you illuminate in us God we pray that we can illuminate the world we pray for the watchman that's on my heart I don't want to mess up the scripture but it says something like if a person doesn't pay attention to the watchman and they're slain by the sword the blood is on them but if the person is slain by the sword and the watchman didn't give them warning the blood is on the watchman God we got enough blood on our hands God so we pray that you cleanse us God cleanse our hearts purify our minds purify our hearts God wash the bloods off our hands father God before we go into the world and try to clean the blood up there clean the blood that has already been spilled in the church father God purify us prune us God purge us God make us holy make us new again make us over God your remnant make us over God your remnant make us over God in your image in your likeness in the identity of you father god in jesus name we pray hallelujah hallelujah you know i sat over there and i was a bit hesitant i believe i heard the lord i'm like lord i can't i can't say anything because i'm a guest here but really i'm a fa i'm family <laughs> I'm family, but I believe the Lord is saying tonight, he's putting a demand on the church to arise. And I believe the Lord is saying it's good to pray against racism, but the truth is his church needs more prayer than the world. And, and, and so I believe the Lord just really wants us to just stand in the gap, cry out on behalf of the church tonight. I believe the Lord is saying he's trying to wake us up and he's been trying to wake us up for a very long time. The Lord says, I am shaking, I'm shaking, I'm shaking my people. But it seems like you are dead asleep. And so I, I just believe that we need to pray into the church just arising. Because the truth is, we have the answer. We are the ones with the answer. We are the light of the world. We are the salt of the earth. And, and, and so we, the world is looking to us. And I believe it's time for us to arise. Father, we are sorry. We have been sleeping for a very long time. Father, you're trying to get our attention. Father, I pray tonight we come together and we intercede, oh God, for your bride, your government in the earth, oh God. Father, you're saying it's, a it's time for the church to arise. It's time for the church to strengthen her feeble knees, says the Lord. Father, we thank you that, oh God, we pray that we, your people, be hear you that we're not to focus on what the devil is doing God it's time for us to look to see what you are doing the prophet Habakkuk he went up on the wall and he said I will watch my honorable Kosaya and I will see what you are doing and I will listen oh God to what you're saying and so tonight God is saying we must put ourselves in that position to see what God is doing and what he's saying father we pray oh god as the 
church, your bride. Let us begin to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to us, oh God. Father God, we just can't sleep through this, Father. Oh God, we are asking you, Father, that your people will begin to arise, God. We'll begin to put on strength, oh God. Father, the world is looking to us, oh God, for the answer. We have the answer, Father. Lord, we're we need wisdom in this hour. We pray for our leaders, oh God, in the churches tonight, God, that you will grant them wisdom, oh God, that you will grant them divine wisdom, oh God. Give them the wisdom, God, that was upon the four sons of Essachar. They know, they knew what to do. They knew the time, God. Hallelujah, Father. So we are asking you for strategies. We are asking you, oh God Almighty, for your wisdom, God. Let us no longer operate in our own wisdom. Let us no longer operate in our own wisdom, God. Let us seek you for wisdom. Let us seek you for wisdom, Father. Oh, we need to hear your voice, Abba. We need to hear your voice. We need to hear your voice in this hour. And fathers, we are praying for the watchmen that you have placed on the wall. Lord, we intercede for the intercessors tonight, God. I believe some of us, we are getting tired. But Father God, I pray, Lord God, that you will give us a second wind. Father God, I pray, oh God, that you will give us the spiritual stamina that we need, oh God. Oh God, to intercede, to stand in the gap, and to cry out like we have never cried out before, Father. Oh God, we decree, we declare a great awakening over this land, Father. Oh God, as it gets dark, the lights begin to shine even brighter. Let us begin to shine, Father. Father God, we will not just point the finger and we say, God, oh, that person is not doing the right thing. We are the church, Father. We are the world changers, Father. So in the name of Jesus, we cry out tonight, God, let the church of Jesus Christ arise. Let the church of Jesus Christ be strengthened. unless the Spirit of God draws them. So that is what our prayer should be. Father, touch their hearts that they may come unto the bleeding cross of Calvary. We need to apply the blood of Jesus, the death, burial, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The power of the blood has not lost its power. But I would like to say one thing. The devil is a liar and I don't care. The blood of Jesus is against him. The devil is a liar and I don't care. The blood of Jesus is against him. Double fire, double fire, double fire, double fire. The blood of Jesus is against him. Double fire, double fire, double fire, double fire. The blood of Jesus is against him. The devil is a liar and I don't care. The blood of Jesus is against him. The devil is a liar and I don't care. The blood of Jesus is against him. Double fire, double fire, double fire, double fire. The blood of Jesus is against him. Double fire, double fire, double fire, double fire. The blood of Jesus is against him. Open up heaven gates. Open up heaven doors. Let the King of Glory come in. Let the King.
because you're good and your word says if we pray anything according to your will that we can be assured that you hear us and we know that if you hear us we have that which we've asked so we thank you father we just seal this prayer meeting with the blood of Jesus and we break the powers of retaliation from principalities powers and even the witches that are praying tonight Father, we ask you, Lord, that this not just be a, a flashpoint, but that this be a new beginning. I know I saw some things tonight that I've not seen before. I saw the pain, and I saw unity. Amen? I saw unity. And I'm very grateful that you all came tonight and we need to do more of this. You know, we're here every Friday night. We can pray about this stuff every week. We don't have to have a special meeting to pray about the issues of the day. But I felt like we did have to have a special meeting tonight. But we are here every Friday night. And we pray every Friday night for our city, for our nation, for our churches, and for whatever else needs to be prayed for. So please don't be a stranger. Amen. We have church on Sunday morning, 1047, 130 p.m. I hope to see you there. Can we give uh, Tyson a good God bless you tonight? And don't forget Jeremiah on the drums back there. Amen. God bless you. Well, we're going to close tonight. If anybody wants to sow a seed, you're welcome to do that. I'm not going to raise an offering. I love you. Thank you for coming. I'll see you again. Bless you. Thank you.